So as we're driving here, I'm listening for kind of a beeping or twittering kind of sound that comes through on the receiver, which is uh, the signal from the collar on the mountain lion. Mainly we want to get a sense of where are they going around here, uh, what are they feeding on, because really not a lot is known about this population of mountain lions. No one's ever done research in the Santa Cruz Mountains. You can hear it a little bit. Back at the end of October, uh, this male mountain lion that we have radio collared, he stayed in this area for about three days. So we're going to go in now. We loaded some of the GPS positions uh, that his collar collected into my GPS unit here. We're going to go and see what he was doing in there for three or so days. We suspect it was going to be a kill site. His radio collar records position every 20 minutes, and you can see that he was kind of walking along the edge of the forest and the grassy openings, kind of going back and forth, which I imagine is you know, a hunting behavior. Well, he's you know, trying to stick to the shadows or stay concealed and maybe come upon a deer or a pig. What we have here, we have the skull of a feral pig that looks like this male lion killed at the end of October. These look like the two uh, humerus bones, the, the f um, this part on the pig. Yeah, what the hell is that? Let me stick. Oh, that's, a, that's a poop. So we came out um, today to find this 1,000 kill site from this mountain lion M3. And he weighs 133 pounds, uh, which is a good size for this area. Uh, he has a pretty big range. He uh, goes from about Wilder Ranch on up to about the end of Empire Grade, and then covers the area between the ocean and uh, west of Empire Grade Road. It seems to be his territory. Mm -hmm.